And Janet Jackson and her husband are getting a divorce following a marriage that they kept secret from the public. Tonight, we have the surprising details of their mysterious relationship. It was a very small gathering. Her mother and her mother's best friend, my parents. Uh, it's something we decided early on to keep our private matters private. Today, it was finally revealed that Janet Jackson and Renee Elizondo were secretly married by a priest in their San Diego area home in March of 1991. Now, after nine years of keeping their marriage hidden, Elizondo is filing for divorce on the grounds of irreconcilable differences. We just had become business uh, partners and creative partners at, over the last year, I would say. Just yeah. go apart. Renee and Janet had been together for many years before their secret wedding. He has directed some of her music videos and was a co-lyricist on her last three hit albums. There was a prenuptial agreement between the two, which Renee's attorney is contesting. Did he know, in fact, what he was signing and what the legal ramifications were? Today, Entertainment Tonight contacted a spokesperson for Janet Jackson who was unable to reach her for a comment by our deadline. Although the divorce papers were just filed today, the couple actually split last year. Janet told me last December that her breakup with the man the public thought was only her boyfriend was difficult. It was definitely tough at times, and still it does. It gets a little tough. You start reminiscing, and but everything happens for a reason, and change becomes very frightening. Renee is also asking for spousal support and that Janet pay for attorney's fees. I've been involved so deeply in her career. It's uh, just hoping to get what's fair. Elizondo says he still has an amicable relationship with Janet and that he would consider working together.